Well, chances are you've heard of COPD, but how much do you know about it? Here to tell us more and why it's important to discuss it are pulmonologist Dr. Brian Tafoya and Emmy-nominated executive producer Abby Levine. Thank you both so much for joining us today. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us, Alex. It's a pleasure to have you on to highlight this, this very important health topic. So, Doctor, let's start with you. For folks who may not know what COPD is, can you give us sort of an, an overview? Yes, so COPD is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. And that includes emphysema and chronic bronchitis. So it's a serious and progressive lung disease. That means that once you have it, you always have it. And it creates trouble with airflow when you're trying to breathe. So being as it's the third leading cause of death in the United States, it's really important that we start uh, shedding some light on COPD and talking about the various treatment options. Definitely, and that's where the film comes in, and Abby, we'll hit on that in a second. But, Doctor, what are some of the challenges associated with living with COPD? Some of the challenges uh, about living with COPD go a lot with the symptoms, actually. So the shortness of breath, um, the daily coughing with or without mucus, um, those can make it difficult to do the activities that you want to do in your everyday life. But in addition to those physical symptoms, there's also an, an emotional impact. When one feels short of breath, that's very anxiety provoking. Um, and also when you feel restricted because you can't do all the things that you wanna do, that can feel isolating and make you feel a bit depressed. So it's important to talk to your physicians and your healthcare providers, be proactive in your health and start talking about the treatment plans that are appropriate for you in order to really optimize the quality of your everyday life. Well, excellent. And Abby, you're helping to shed light on the topic and sort of remove some of the stigma. So tell us what the film is about and, and why you decided to make it. Yeah, sure. Uh, the film follows three individuals, all that have COPD. Um, it's called Clear the Air, um, opening up about COPD, because we wanted to creatively yet accurately portray what it's like when a patient takes a proactive stance in treating their COPD. Um, so we spend a few days with Tina, who lives in South Carolina, um, who was around secondhand smoke for most of her life and has COPD. And we spend some time with Mary, who's in Upper Peninsula, Michigan, and she was a heavy smoker and has had COPD now um, for a while. And then Bob is in Kauai, and he actually got COPD from working on a carrier ship. And so each of these patients has learned how to be proactive, speak to their healthcare provider, and find a way to add something into their life that they maybe didn't have when, before they were proactive. And the reason we made the film was because there's not a ton of information out there about COPD. And so we wanted to present it in one place at one time so people had somewhere to go to learn something about COPD. Wow, well this especially hits close to home with you. Your mother has COPD. And how did it change your understanding of the condition? Yeah, so for anybody with a loved one with COPD, it's sometimes easy to be a little judgmental because a lot of times COPD um, is a result of smoking. And so I myself um, was having a bit of a hard time watching my mom struggle with the disease and also relating to her. And people with COPD need support and they need help. And so having gone through this process and spending time with other patients with COPD and putting it together, um, I've learned a lot about the disease and I've, I've presented it in a way that we know that just taking small steps in treating COPD can make a really big difference for patients. So that's been helpful for my relationship with my mom too. Excellent. And of course, you know, it's, it's all about normalizing it. Everyone goes through their own health challenges and this is just another one of those and it can, you know, it can be treated and it can be helped. And so if people want to learn a little bit more about this, where can they go? The film is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It is currently online and it is free and it's only 20 minutes long. So if you go to cleartheaircopd.com and you spend less than half an hour with it, you're gonna learn a lot. All right, excellent. Thank you both so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.